Hello again, friends. We spoke yesterday about claiming our worth and dignity and who God says we are. We belong, we have worth, we are adequate and competent to do the things God has prepared for us to do. You've heard me quote this verse so many times, but it's worth repeating today. For we are God's masterpiece. He created us anew in Christ Jesus so we can do the good things he planned for us long ago. One of the reasons we get sidetracked and lose sight of these truths is that we see that we fall short so often and do things we don't want to do or don't get around to doing things we should. We rightfully so have a sense of our sinfulness and our guilt before God. We know God forgives when we confess and ask for it and he washes us clean because his word affirms that over and over again. I mean, one of the most famous sentences about this is in the Bible and it says, if we confess our sins to him, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all wickedness. But we often feel awkward about bringing our sins to God anyway, but then when they recur over and over again, yikes. We may be embarrassed by the number of times we've had to deal with the same issues. Those things that we don't want to do, yet we keep doing over and over again. What is going on? What will it take for us to find solid ground on which to stand? God's offer to us today and every day is freedom through Jesus Christ who sets us free. Stand fast, therefore, in the liberty by which Christ has made us free. And do not be entangled again with the yoke of bondage. You know, the slogan, if nothing changes, nothing changes, is true. Each time we find ourselves coming back to, from the same old failure, we need to reassess what changes we've made and what we're holding back. So let's do that today, shall we? Heavenly Father, we take this opportunity to let you take us deeper into our buried pain and allow your forgiveness and healing to change our hearts. Show us what the resentment is, the hatred, the fear, the pain, or the shame that we're seeking to cover that our stumbles reveal. Thank you, God, for your offer to us of comfort for our grief and healing for our hurts. We know this freedom requires honesty in what we're willing to reveal and deal with. Only the truth, the whole truth, will set us free. Your word instructs us, humble yourselves before God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Come close to God and God will come close to you. Wash your hands, you sinners. Purify your hearts, for your loyalty is divided between God and the world. Humble yourselves before the Lord and he will lift you up in honor. And so, gracious God, help us not to just talk about what's happened in our lives, but to repent and turn away from all destructive behavior. We ask you to give us the courage to be honest and confess those things that bring us pain. We turn to you for healing and ask for strength to accept the things we cannot change, the courage to change the things we can, and the wisdom to know the difference. We want to honor you in all our affairs. Amen. Every day is a fresh beginning. So let's do that today. Let's have a fresh and a new beginning with God today. Have a great day.